Okay, guys, you can see my PC ran into the problem. And it, it says it needs to be restarted. If you guys are getting the similar kinds of error, and here's the stop code, it's WHEA, it's on correctable error. So if you guys are getting the error code like this, it's a stop code, WHEA, on correctable error. And if your PC ran into the problem, it says it needs to be restarted. You can follow the number of uh, steps in this tutorial. I hope one that either steps will definitely help you. In case if it uh, helps you, you can share this video with your friends and family also. You're going to choose Command Prompt and click on that. You're going to choose the user account. So you might be having a multiple number of user in your computer. So you're going to choose the user. Make sure you have a administrator privilege to the user. Enter the password if you have password for your account and click on continue. And now here you have a command prompt. Okay guys, I hope command is visible. It will locate the bad sector and recover some of the files that is readable. So guys, you just have to press enter key after you type it correctly. Now you can see it is going on, everything is in process. Just give some time. Doing this might take a pretty long time. So you just give some time. Finally, once you're done, you're going to press exit. So if it asks you for any kinds of permission in your computer, like yes or no, you're going to type Y for yes and then press enter key. So finally, it's all done. You're going to exit it. And now restart your computer. Okay, guys, update the driver. Give a right click on this PC or on my computer. So more options and here you have a manage. So you will click over here on device manager. And here you have a drivers. So anywhere you're going to, you see this drop down icon, you're going to click on it. Anywhere you see the yellow exclamatory sign in any of this driver. What you're going to do is just give a right click on it and update the driver. If you have downloaded it from somewhere, click on browse from my computer for the driver and you're going to show the locations or you can search over the internet automatically. It will automatically search for the driver and install it. Even you can search for the update on Windows update. It will search for it on a Windows update. You can update the PC along with your PC update. Your drivers will be updated. So this should fix your issue. So open the search and you can search for the BIOS. You can see download the BIOS for HP Pavilion and DV6. So you can give the exact model number of your laptop. You know the model number of your laptop. You can check the model number of your laptop in a system information or you can get the model number of a laptop or service tag from the back of your PC. You have a service tag, you have a printed over there, it's a service tag model number. So you can just find the exact driver bias for the exact PC model number. If you uh, install unwanted, uh, try to install unwanted uh, BIOS, your system may be corrupted or damaged. So always uh, download the uh, uh, exact uh, BIOS driver for a P for your PC uh, with a model number or a brand. You can see it's the uh, exact model number. It's like Pavilion DB6000. It's a uh, entertainment notebook. So you should find the exact driver for the exact model number and download and install it. If it is a Dell, you can type Dell. So depending upon the model number, if it is Dell G7, you can type Dell G7 and press enter key. Visit the official web and download the exact driver through service tag or if you know the model number, if you can recognize your PC through the model number in its official web, you can download the BIOS driver and install it. So click on any 
click on the link let me show you how to install just click on the link so always visit the official web to download the BIOS. When you go to download the BIOS from the official web, it may ask you for the service tag. Service tag you'll find at the back end of your system or maybe you find in the receipt you purchase your PC. So enter the service tag to find the proper BIOS for your system. Randomly, you may install the BIOS of a, um, of a different uh, uh, brand or a model and that might not work so all base download the proper bias for your system so enter the service tag over here and then click on search it detects your product and then now click on submit once it detects your product you can see it's a driver and download you can see the urgent you can see it was released on it's a bias 10 February 2020 so download it you can see it is downloading now before you install it make sure your PC is well charged and your power cable is plugged in so always plug in the power cable and make sure your PC is charged at least 20 to 30 percent do not unplug the power cable Okay guys, just give a right click on it and run as an administrator on the top. Otherwise, just uh, give a double click on it. It can ask you for the permission. Click on yes. And you're going to see this. You just have to click on update. So one more time, I would like to tell you, make sure your PC is 20 to, uh, sorry guys, 20 to 30 percent charged and make sure your power cable is plugged in. And while updating, do not unplug the power cable and do not turn off the PC. Otherwise, your PC might uh, crash or something might go wrong. So, just before updating it, do not unplug the power cable. Make sure power cable is plugged in, 20 to 30% charged and never turn off the PC. So, while updating, your PC may go black for a while and it may restart. So, click on update now. So it will ask you for the restart. So you just have to restart your PC. You can see it is asking to restart. So just click on restart. You can see it is restarting. Looks like some app is running. So click on restart. And so you can see system is all black and it is updating the firmware. So it might take some time as 6% completed. Okay guys, finally it's done and it is restarting and here we go. Either I can turn off the PC or go to troubleshoot. Now I'll try the UEFI firmware setting. Going to the UEFI firmware setting, I'll go restart the PC. I'll make some changes in the boot sequence. You can see boot sequence is all the way fine. Still, I'll re restore the setting, all the settings to the BIOS default. So, in case I have made any changes at any point of time, it will restore all the settings to the default. Okay guys, you're going to type the command SFC space slash scan now. It needs to be together and press enter again. So it will take some time. Uh, let it to complete 100% and you're all done. Okay guys, you can sit down with the 100%. Now just exit it. Okay, let me exit it and press enter again. Finally, we'll just uh, give a restart to your PC and 
Check if uh, it fixed your issue. Okay, guys, you're gonna run this command uh, without any spelling mistake. So you can even run this command from a advanced mode. Currently, you can see it is in a administrator command prompt. So you can run this command even from X drive in an advanced mode if you cannot turn on your PC. Access the command prompt from an advanced mode and then you can run this command. Press enter key. You can see so everything is okay. And here it is. It's a boot code was successfully updated on all targeted volume. Okay guys, this is another command you're gonna run. You can run this command also from uh, advanced mode if you cannot turn on your PC. Press enter key. So guys, you got, I got uh, error 87. So some, spe uh, some spelling mistakes, there's no, uh, okay. Some spelling mistake. So in case of uh, restore, I have a scan health and everything is okay. I just put the space in between and then I'm gonna press uh, enter key. Now you can see it's working. So you're going to use this command instead of first one. First one really do not work. So it's just going to take some time and it will be done. So you can run this command uh, from uh, advanced mode also. If you cannot log in into your PC, so if you have a loop problem, you can run it from advanced mode, it's X drive. Just give some time and it will be done. So if you do not proceed ahead, just uh, hit enter key and it will start working. So you can see uh, it's done with a 39, 41%. So you can see 100%. The operation completed successfully. Now you're going to exit it and then I have to give a one restart to your computer and then I have to check if the issue is fixed. The shift key and restart. Control suit, advanced option, it's a startup setting. Click here is a restart, click on restart. So here we go. So you can make your choice. Was it normal with networking or command prompt? The option is four, five, and six. So let me try the normal one. So you can try whichever you like. Since uh, the normal safe mode is in number four, so either you have to press the F4 key in your keyboard or directly press number four in your keyboard. And to restart your PC, and here you go. Finally, your PC is in a safe mode. Go to source and type update. Here you have check for updates. Click on it. Are you going to type check for updates strictly? So when you type check for updates, you're going to see this window. What you're going to do is you can download and install the updates, or you can just check for the updates. It will check for all the necessary updates. Finally, you can see it is downloading and installing and then after you can restart your PC. Don't forget to restart for the changes to take effect. So this will fix your issue. It's a, some, uh, you can see this one is completed manually. Just download and install. If any options over here, it is a manually to download and install. You have to download and install manually and restart your computer for the changes to take effect. So this should fix your issue. Suit. In the troubleshoot, again you have an advanced option. Inside advanced option, again you need to come back to the command prompt and then you're going to choose command prompt and click on it. So, guys, you have to type all the commands correctly without any spelling mistake. Okay, guys, I hope command is visible or you can watch it in a full screen. So, you can see. Even I've left the command in the pinned post. It's a comment section down below. B O O T R E C dot E X E slash rebuild B C D. And guys, you're going to press enter key. 
So this might take some time. Finally, once you're done, you're going to type the second command. Okay, guys, this is the second command you need to type. Boot rec dot exe space slash fix mbr. Click on enter. Okay, now the third command and the last command that you need to type. Boot rec dot exe slash fix boot fix boot. Press enter key. Some kinds of access denied. So sometimes you get the message like this. So type all these commands correctly. And maybe in your case, access is not denied. In my case, it's access denied. Two commands work successfully. Third command, access denied. So anyway, you're going to type all these three commands correctly. And then finally, you just have to exit it. Exit the command prompt, turn off your PC, and then start your PC again. Or just directly, you're going to restart your computer. You're just going to choose. It's a troubleshoot. And here you are. I reset this PC. Let's click on that. Keep my files or remove everything. Okay, guys. This will restart your PC. And after restarting, this is what you get your account one you use to log in your PC so if it is password protected you have to enter the password and click on continue if it is not password protected just directly click on continue now once you click on continue this is what you get resetting this PC getting the things ready so give us some time and it will get all the things ready. Okay, guys. Now here it is. Once it's once uh, it gets ready, click on reset. So now this might take several minutes and we are all done. Your piece will be all the way ready to use. So finally, here is your PC, all the way ready to use.